guys welcome to my channel my name is Frances I'm here with a new video the firstborn of the Israelites were spared because of the blood of the lamb they had the blood of the lamb on their doorpost and therefore the angel of death was able to pass over the blood of Jesus is what reconciles us to the father we know that Jesus died for our sins and he died to bring us um, peace with God, reconciliation with God, and that is really what the forgiveness of sins is. You know, now we think of the blood as protection. We use the blood of Jesus and we claim, we, we pray, we ask God to cover us in the blood of Jesus, to protect us with the blood of Jesus from demonic attack, from demonic infiltrations, from death, from sickness, from disease, and all that kind of stuff. The blood of Jesus will set you free. The blood of Jesus will keep you clean. The blood of Jesus will resurrect you. The blood of Jesus will heal you. The blood of Jesus will deliver you. There was so much that happened at the cross at Calvary. You know, Jesus reconciled us with God. That means that we have peace with God. We can actually come to God. We can come boldly to the throne of mercy because of what Jesus did for us. You know, we went, we passed from darkness to light. We were delivered just like the Jews were delivered from Egypt. We were delivered from the world, the slavery of the world, the slavery of Satan, the slavery of sin, the slavery of this flesh and everything that this flesh wants, everything that this flesh wars for wars against you know this flesh cannot please god and therefore we were slaves to this flesh we were slaves to the world's ways we were slaves to satan's um will for our lives if if and when we don't receive jesus and place our faith in jesus because that's the key thing place uh, placing our faith in Jesus, then we are doomed to eternal damnation, which is eternal separation from God, eternal spiritual death, separation from the glorious love of God, the glorious kindness of God. God did forgive our sins through our acceptance of Jesus Christ as Lord, as Savior, and submitting under his will, placing our cares before him, and, you know, honoring him in the lifestyles that we live, and even serving him in the lives that we live, you know? Jesus said on the cross, it is finished. He, is, he was basically saying, Lord, what you sent me to do, which is save people, bring them back to you, um, reconcile our differences. There is no longer slave nor free there's no longer gentile nor jew you know there is no longer a separation between coming to god and praying in the secret place you know now we can come boldly to the throne of god now we can speak directly to god now we can commit sin and you know this is not to um violate grace or 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 break truth with god you know with with what i'm about to say but now we can actually make a mistake and repent for it. You know, before, what, when you made, a, a, when you did wrongdoing, when you committed a sin, it was death for you. It was separation from God, ultimately. If there was a way to be redeemed, it was through the law, which was to kill a, a, a white dove and sacrifice it onto God, to kill a, a lamb and sacrifice it onto God. Um, if you stole something, you had to pay uh, the person you stole from seven times what you stole. You know there was a there were a lot of different ways that that the that the people of Israel that the law of God um, put in place for us to be redeemed when we did wrong. But now because of Christ, because we accept the 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 salvation of the Lord, the sacrifice of the Lord, we can actually go come to God boldly and say, Lord, I repent from this. I'm going to turn away. I am turning away from this, and I am giving you my heart so you can make me clean again so you could realign my mind with the things that you want from me and how you want me to live my life you know we can just confess what it is that god wants us to do um or what we have done rather you know and instead of killing a a, a 
an animal or bringing, you know, wheat and, and, and plants and, and agriculture and a whole bunch of things that people had to do back in those days, you know. So I think it's really important to know what God did on the cross. And that's one of the teachings that I'm going to be bringing um, next week because um, I feel like a lot of people just focus on the forgiveness of sins. And amen. Blessed is he who... Um, who receives forgiveness of God. Amen. You know, amen to that. But there were so many other things that the Lord did when he um, died on the cross. When he hung on that cross, he said, it is finished. So what in the world is he referring to? There are so many things that God is referring to when he says that it is finished. None of us should forget where we came from you know even if even people that say oh i was born in in the, in the gospel no you were not born in the gospel you have to um you could have been raised in the gospel that is completely different from being born in the gospel nobody is born in the gospel you know when you are born again it's when you are born in the gospel being born again means that you confess jesus as christ as the lord as as your savior you know, you are going to listen to him now. You're going to place your faith in him now. You are rendering your hearts before God. You know, it's not about going to church. And I always say this, you know, it's really not about going to church. It's not about singing worship songs. It is not about memorizing the Bible. It is about placing your faith in Jesus Christ. You know, the Bible says, he who calls on the name of, of the Lord shall be saved. He who confesses and believes with his, with his heart shall be saved. Amen.